Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks tutorial for the KSP PS4 Enhanced Edition. I'd like to start today's tutorial with the following question. How many of you have had this happen to you when you started to play? Just in case you are wondering what exactly happened is that both the rocket motor the flea and the parachute fired at the same time. Well, if that's something that happened, then welcome to our staging tutorial. Today I will be covering what is a staging, how it works and how you need to make use of it. All right, so let's get to the beginning of this example. What happened? In this case, what happened is that both rocket motor and the parachute fired simultaneously. And if we go to the, you need to hold, press your uh, triangle, press up and go edit stages. And this will bring this little bit icon here to life. So what is happening here is that, as you can see, we have only one stage, which is highlighted here with zero. And it says that when you press the stage button, the rocket motor and the parachute will fire simultaneously. So it, ha it did exactly what we told it to. What we should have done is press plus five, or pl sorry, press plus, and then moved this rocket motor into the bottom stage. So if we try to read this now, what will first happen? First, Stage one will fire, which is the rocket motor, and then the parachute will fire when we tell it to. Right, so let's give it a test, shall we? Three, two, one, ignition. So as you can see here, now the parachute is staying put while our flea rocket motor is firing. And that's the way it's supposed to work. So that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. So. We are now just waiting for the airspeed to cross the parachute safe level, now indicated gray, and now we can press the parachute, which will result in parachute deploying when we told it to, and it will slow down the craft, and Jeb will be going back home happily, knowing that he didn't spin ball into a giant fireball of death. Right. Well, still has some spin, but that we can always fix using the SAS onboard controls. Right. Now, this more looks like a capsule that is under control. So, that seems simple enough. So, let's go to a little bit more advanced example. The rockets work on the principles of staging because uh, it is actually takes a lot of energy to take uh, to take things into orbit uh, and a lot of energy means that when you burn up your fuel you the rest of the booster which you are basically hauling is essentially dead weight so uh, basically you need to think about discarding all of your dead weight as you ascend towards the heavens so let me just show this um, now staging here. Hold on, pressing and edit stages. If we examine staging here, we go to the bottom. And first, if you interpret this correctly, hold on. First, the bottom two boosters will fire, which is stage number three. Then those uh, the two radial decouplers will fire, which will result in ditching the boosters. And at the same time, the uh, rocket liquid fuel engine will fire. That would be the stage number two. And the third, you will have the stack decoupler fire. So detaching only the top part of the rocket and the rocket engine, which is actually hidden here, which will be firing then as well. Finally, when we are done with everything, then the parachute will fire on descent, hopefully. Let's see how that works in real life. Or, how does that work when we try it? Oh, 
Okay, Jeb, are you ready? Three, two, one, ignition. So, as you can see now, only our solid rocket boosters are firing. And that's because we told that to be the initial stage, which is also sometimes called the boosting stage. When that one, you know, finishes, we will be at the same time ditching the boosters and also firing our liquid engine, which is happening now. And of course some explosions because, well, those boosters collided into each other, but that's little, that's not as important at this very moment. So as it's also not important that my rocket is not going anywhere fast in any smart direction. The whole point is to show that we have shed off that weight, which was essentially those two solid rocket boosters. Now, as you can see, we are burning for the apoapsis. So let us go and, oops, not the options. I always mix up these two buttons. Open the map and let's see how is our apoapsis doing. Our apoapsis should be increasing. So, 30, yes, 31. It is doing ever so painfully because I forgot I could actually ignite the engine to its full potential rather than running it half power. Go figure. This is a typical Kerbal thing that you mess up in the KSP. So, as you can see, we are now past 70 or 80 kilometers. I'm just going to let it run up to 100. And perfect, let's kill the, and let's close the map. Oh, and we have very little fuel left in the stage. So now, as you can see, we ran out of fuel. Now this engine, what we have here, is together with its fuel tanks, dead weight, which we do want to get rid of. So let's do just that stage and look at it and it's going I have also activated the last stage which is the small terrier rocket fuel motor so if I press the gas now we will be pressing the gas and saying goodbye to our boosting stage that or not boosting stage but uh, transfer stage that it has helped us get to the orbital heights and the final stage will help us gain velocity and get into orbit. Uh, I could be showing you this in details, but you have already seen me do this in my multiple videos. So rather, rather than that, when you will be returning back to Kerbin, you want to point your rocket orbit retrograde so that you align with this yellow marker. And when you will be at some decent speed, when uh, the a parachute will be gray, you want to press stage again once you have when you have already re-entered and then you will have gone for a safe landing. So this is staging, basically getting rid of that weight as you progress and uh, I hope you found this tutorial simple and easy enough. Like if you like the video and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Once again, thank you very much for watching, like if you like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Groundforks, signing off.